What's going on, my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about a build for the Stasis Hunter using the Mask of Fealty, the new exotic helm that we got inside of Revenant here. But we can also technically use this with the Prismatic subclass if you want, because we do have Withering Blade on that subclass as well. But it feels way better, in my personal opinion, on the Stasis subclass class we're getting times eight times ten for that frost armor getting just wiping out enemies we can stun all different types of champions so we'll cover everything with this build starting with the exotic perk on the mask of fealty right here withering blade bounces and hits creating a small stasis crystal refunds a portion of your melee energy using withering blade to shatter the crystals or frozen targets also release a little spread of withering blades so it's a good way to get continuously freeze enemies get a little extra ad clear potential with that because the uh spread of those withering blade crystals or the extra withering blades when you shatter that crystal or frozen targets is super super nice inside of those enemy circles for the ad clear of it definitely a fun stasis build that you can have and also get through decently challenging content with it because stasis is very good at keeping enemies at bay whether they are red rank and file enemies all the way up to those champions bosses etc all right so right here for our stasis subclass we're going to be using silence and squall of course with gambler's dodge so we can keep up that withering blade even more triple jump for me definitely what i use in pvp pve situations a lot we got ourselves the withering blade of course i chose dust field because over here we got ourselves grim harvest and touch of winter grim harvest defeating those slow or frozen targets creates stasis shards for us those stasis shards are going to grant us melee energy so we're building heavy into stasis shards plus we are going to get frost armor with that so that's why i said earlier why we're getting frost armor so quickly and having it stack up to like that times eight times ten very very fast because we're getting stasis shards everywhere with this build on top of that that touch of winter is going to cause our dusk field to have a larger aoe effect on it and also create a little small stasis crystal on the center so then we can use our withering blade to shatter it create that little fealty to proc get that extra withering blades to also go off of it now we move on to our fragments our frost armor has increased duration and max stacks this is super nice for keeping us alive if you do take this into some of that end game content whisper of shards shattering these stasis crystals gives us a boost in grenade charge very good for getting that dusk field allowing us to just kind of have that feedback loop of getting the crystal to spawn with touch of winter throwing our withering blade at it getting the shatter of that to get the field of our mass to proc as well as creating even more of those stasis shards now with those stasis shards they're going to track to our position which is super super nice with this build because of whisper of conduction moving on we got whisper of impotence right here with the damaging targets with that stasis melee reloads our stowed weapons and grants you some temporary ready speed for those weapons so very good for doing a little hot swap with your damage if you would like also gives us that just innate to reload our grenade launcher so you'll see why this plays hard into this build because of the weapons that i'm using and last but certainly not least here whisper of change defeating targets while well, you have that frost armor has a chance to create stasis shards so this in turns gives us more frost armor gives us the chance to create even more stasis shards so that's why we have that frost armor up consistently and built this out heavy into that now before i cover our armor and mods that we got i'm gonna cover my weapon choices so i went with the new exotic that we got right here so we can get that harvest of vestiges so we can create a bunch of different ammo for us as well as our fellow guardians with medium or heavy also plays into the stasis synergy of this build very very nice little uh synergy with the artifact on top of that as it is a grenade launcher so was liking this a lot plus it's a primary ammo one now i personally like this as the option we got the nessa's obligation adept you don't have to have adept you can just use a shotgun in this slot but i chose it because it is our anti-barrier weapon i did say that this is also going to stun our overload champions but we got anti-barrier 
for this shotgun, which will be super nice with that Focus Fury, etc. Very good little DPS weapon. Now, I have two choices right here. We got this compressed wave frame uh, grenade launcher in our heavy slot. Very fun for the ad clear when you're doing that lower content like Onslaught you saw in the gameplay and at the end there. That chain reaction envious assassin on this thing, absolutely disgusting. We're going to create a bunch of different stasis shards with this because of the freeze explosion of that. So this is what you could go with for that lower content. If you're looking for a little bit more DPS, you can switch it on out for that chill inhibitor right here. Envious Arsenal with a bait and switch is probably what I'm looking for or a cascade point with that uh, enlightened action or explosive light, whatever gives you the buff to damage. That would be kind of my two roles that I'm looking for, but that's what I would go with as your two options for heavies with a shotgun here for anti-barrier. And then we got our new exotic here with that primary grenade launcher. Now, when we move on to our armor that pairs with everything that we got going on as well as our mods, we got resilience recovery as our number one with strength as our number three right here. So we can get back that withering blade as quick as we can, staying alive, getting our health back as well. I went with heavy ammo finder here, but since we are using that exotic, you could switch this out for something else. But I do like having as much heavy as I can on the field, especially in that end game content. Went with dynamo here because we are going to be dodging near enemies as much as we can with that gambler's dodge to get back our withering blade even more often with harmonic siphon so we can get a bunch of orbs of power created via har heavy as well as that new exotic that we got in our kinetic slot i went with kinetic or harmonic loaster i should say so our stasis weapons will load a little bit faster with our grenade and melee coming back by doing damage with the other version of it so very little good internal feedback loop depending on the activity you are going into you can change out your chest piece to whatever type of burn or etc is going on sniper concussive i went with absolution here so we can get a little chunk of all of our uh, abilities back when we pick up an orb of power stasis holster so we can get that auto loading on both our heavy as well as our kinetic weapon as well as recuperation to get some health back especially in that end game content now when we dodge we're gonna have outreach proc so we can get our uh melee back again even a little bit faster with powerful attraction so all those orbs of power that are in a decent little radius around us is going to come and get collected immediately helping us to proc recuperation absolution without having to actually go out there and collect the orbs of power as well as reaper so we can create even more orbs of power as well as that harmonic siphon getting that everything to proc you can see just the little feedback loop of that by creating the orbs using the dodge to freeze enemies getting everything to proc on our class ability our exotic and then getting the stasis holster for our weapons it's a beautiful little combo now last but not least we got ourselves the apothecary satchel like i said we got our anti-barrier shotgun and our breach load grenade launcher for that overload with rapid impacts pretty important right here giving us increased reload speed on our grenade launchers we're going to be using one with frost while frost armor is active stasis weapons have increased reload and stability so giving us even faster reload on our exotic that we're using we're going to be using crystalline converter which is super important for i shouldn't say super important at least but it is pretty important and adds to the ability a lot for the melee side of it because gathering all those stasis shards that we're doing will build up that crystalline converter our next powered melee will create crystals that equal the number of stacks that we have and then we can shatter those get even more shards and then it just feeds right back into itself with this build so this is super super nice and probably my favorite part of this artifact for this build we're gonna have hailstorm as well so shattering those stasis crystals leaves a nice little slow and damage to those enemies we got the armor of aramis well we have a frost armor taking critical damage creates a frost pulse which is super nice create even more of that freezing and slowing damage on the enemies right here super important for both our heavy as well as our exotic that we are using we can weaken targets by doing that damage on them very very good little combo this season especially with this one kinetic tremors on that heavy grenade launchers that we got we can use this as our unstoppable champion to stun it as well as we're going to be freezing enemies which that also does stun unstoppables but nice little dps add to this build and then finally we got 
got brain freeze right here, freezing those targets and surrounded by a chilling fog, which slows combatants that aren't already slowed. So a nice little addition to creating even more slow and frozen targets around so we can create even more stasis shards so we can in turn get even more of that melee energy back, get that crystalline converter to go off, create even more of that stasis synergy. It is a very, very fun build and we don't got to worry about that ammo uh, economy as much because our exotic is going to help us to create ammo, whether it be power ammo or energy ammo. The exotic is super, super nice. I can't wait for the catalyst to come out in the next act, but very fun little synergy that we got here going through basically any type of content you can want. We're stunning champions with it. The super without something like star eaters doesn't do as much damage, obviously, as something like a golden gun or anything like that, but it is a very, very good ad management super, and it's not bad for keeping something like a champion or a mini boss at bay because it'll continuously freeze that target. So has the potential for sure for really any type of content, like I said, but thank you again for coming back to the channel. As always means a lot to me, means a lot to the channel. You like and subscribe, helps out the algo, helps out the channel as well. Spread the love of the builds to the community as well. Love doing that. So again, appreciate all you guys. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.